Hello there. As you guys know, the latest head of a 2 update brought about a lot of major changes to the meta with many nerfs and buffs. If you haven't seen the patch note yet, I will put it on the screen here for you to see. I'll be going through and test most of the weapon and strat gems that has been affected by this update in the highest difficulty, Helldiver. However, the only weapon that I don't have on the list is the spray and pray variant of the breaker. So if anyone have the chance to use it after the update, please let me know how it feels to use it down in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get started. First thing first, the flame wall. Now using it for the first time, you'll notice that the, it will eviscerate everything that it touches. With a 50% damage increase, now it's definitely wall front of proof. This charge has stand no chance. A bonus tip, you can completely destroy the charger by just focusing the leg rather than the body. Now how would the flame be off of there against a bar titan? After using 5 max of flame waffle I don't think it's possible to kill a bow titan with a flame tower. I, I was able to destroy the bow sack, but not the main body or the head. Now you'll be wondering, what kind of sane person would use flame tower against a robot? I was never the same after Creek. Found something. Testing it on Strider, it melted like butter. Papa one used against a shielded devastator is didn't go as well. But it will melt right through a tank. Oh damn! In the case of the Hulk, I tried hitting every part in this body in the front, but it wouldn't do any damage. Sadly, you can't fight fire with fire. Next up, the laser cannon. It got a damage increase against armor target and increased armor penetration. So I'll be hitting the, only the armor part of the charger. Wow! Oh, damn! In the case of the bow titan though, I managed to destroy its body part but I was shooting at it for 2 minutes straight and couldn't kill it before I got overrun. The 
If anyone knows a way to kill a bio titan with a laser cannon, please let me know in the comments. Moving on to the robot side, the laser cannon shows more promise. Being able to melt through Strider with ease and being able to cut down Razor Bot. Taking down Shield Devastator is also not a problem for the laser cannon. And if you can keep your laser steady on the whole pad, you can kill it quite quickly. However, the laser cannon cannot go through the tank from the armor. So you still have to flank it to destroy its weak spot. This is also the case with the cannon tower. You will still have to hit the weak spot to destroy it with a laser cannon. Next is the breaker. It's got an ammo nerf from 16 to 30 mag, which reduces it from 112 total ammo down to 91, which you can't kill as much enemy as before anymore, and you have to reload more often. Other than that, it also got a massive recoil increase from 30 to 55. Now I'll show you side by side of the gameplay before and after the buff. As you can notice on the right side, the ray core is much more prominent, even though when I'm firing at a much lower rate. Now onto the Punisher, a pump action shotgun that you can get pretty early on. The new update increased the max ammo capacity, staggering force, and also increased the damage per pallet. This is me using it for the first time taking on the permanent. In its current state, it has very good damage in range. And with this new stagger buff, the commander buff can't even reach me. And when you look at that, I can't even one shot a grunt. I wanted to see how many shots it would take to kill a charger. So it took me around 11 shots to take it down. The increased stagger rate really shines when fighting with robots, especially against Razors and uh, Devastator alike. The constant knockback stops them from firing their minigun or it unlock the rocket Devastator, which prevent them from firing. The shield generator received a nerf to its recharge delay time. So here I will test how long it takes for the new shield generator to recharge fully. That's a full 12 seconds of charging time. Next up is everyone's favorite gun, the rail gun. But after the upgrade, it got nerfed to smithery. They made it so safe mode can no longer penetrate heavy armor. So now your railgun shot will bounce straight off armor. 
Now you have to switch to unsafe mode to even penetrate it. I wanted to see how much shot it requires to take down one charger. Full five headshot to kill one charger. That is a severe nerf. And finally, here's the 120 mil and 380 mil over the world. turns from hitting nothing into hitting something sometime but they did receive a quite a generous amount of duration buff That's it for my testing, if you enjoyed my video, please leave a like, if I missed something, be sure to tell me down in the comment below, and if you like what I do, be sure to subscribe for future content, and I will see you in Creeks.